Hello lads and lasses, I'm Keelan the Realist Reviewer and tonight is All Hallows Eve and what better night to start a new horror game. This evening we'll be playing Soma which is a lovely new horror game from our friends at Frictional Games. They are well known of course for the Prenumbra series of which I have enjoyed all of them and of course Amnesia which you saw me play earlier. Yes, without further ado, let's get straight on into the game. It's a sci-fi horror. It will be in full graphics. And uh, please let me know down below if anything is not to your satisfaction or whether you enjoy it. Let's continue and see what's in store. So, yeah, it's a sci-fi horror, I gather. And I'll be very interesting, interested to see what's going to transpire. We have a brain pattern in the corner. That's our loading screen. Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, doesn't go away. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Look at Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. What is it like? Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Oh, it was all the dream. <laughs> I was like, what? Did he get a dodgy call from his mistress or something? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he yeah, so Yeah, I'm tipped? up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. So he's dreaming about the drive there, apparently. Okay. Ah, to move around, use the old WSAD. Very nice. Cool, we can look in drawers and all that good stuff. Should we delve yeah, in his bedside? Ah, that's what we're looking for. Do we dare... That's a real small bed, isn't it? Do we dare delve into his bedside table? Ooh. What, what manner of things might be inside? Um, I turned back on the V-Sync because it's got terrible tearing if you don't have it on. Let's move the pillar. Ah, oh, sweet. We can move the pillar around. I do approve of this fella's on, wallpaper. Tracer fluid. Where are you? Where are you? Can we smash the glass? The mug? Coffee mug? Let's smash it. Rah! Didn't work. Alright, what do we have? We have a... Rather terrible comb. Look at their teeth. Damn. It's like an afro comb. We got a pen knife. Oh, what, what was that? I totally missed that. Oh, right, we can examine it. It's gone all, um. It's gone all LA noir, unless we can examine objects. Sweet. Hey, look at that. It is a Le Pen. Le Pen. And some, I want to read the guide. Can we read the guide? No. Apparently we cannot. Can, I want the shades at least. Can we put those on? Yes. Put some sunglasses on. Alright, let's stop prattling about and try and find what we're looking for. Hey, won an award. What is the... What is the award for? Ombra de la Serra Moltera. Moltera. Yes. Awesome. Oh, he's got a message. But we're looking for the fluid. We don't really care about messages, do we? Smash all the cups. We can't smash the cups. Oh, what's this? Been eating a classic mac and... Big mac and fries, by the looks of things. And a pan pizza. Yes, Bachelor living at its finest. Right, Mr. Bachelor. Food. I should buy something healthier on my way home. Yes, you foul... You foul bachelor with your noodles and pizza and although I do fancy 
Let's put one of these in the old microwave, shall we? <laughs> Might as well, you know. Have a little snap before we head out, eh? Yes. And, uh, I, I, I can't press... No, we can't push the buttons. We'll have to read it cold. Yes. Can we... Just mugs, no plates at all. How about a pan? Poom. Sweet. Excellent. Well, I'm not finding the uh, the stuff yet. I'm finding old milk ones. Are maybe in here? I do like you can open everything, but it's you can't use the microwave, and this is this is not good. You can never find what you're looking for, can you? Let's see if uh, answering hey, machine. Simon, it's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, miss you, mean it. End of messages. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? Hmm. 7 to 12, convention. Hey. Sweet. What else we got? Get well soon, love mom. So there's something wrong with this. Yes. Let's have a look at his drawers. Ah, downtown accident kills young woman. Okay. Yesterday, driver distracted by her children ran a red light and causing her to blindside a car at the intersection of Moore Street and Spadina Road. The mother and her children traveling in a robust SUV were left bruised and largely unharmed. But the other party was less lucky, however, as the car crashed into the passenger side of Ashley Hall. 23 sustained devastating damage. Why do we care about this? Uh, suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs. Oh dear. Very ghoulish. And the ambulance arrived. A friend and driver survived, but with complicated results, leaving them with permanent brain damage. The driver of the SUV, whose name has not been released by police, claims it was an accident and practically unavoidable. Yes, well, could it be our, our would-be protagonist was involved in said accident? Who knows? Let's check his second row. What's this? What is this? What is this? What is this? I don't know what it is. Cinema variety, some of blockbusters, hey. Japanimation bigger than ever. Uh, let's see what's the computer's got in store for us. Thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at Pace Laboratories in Toronto. Oh, all right, Toronto in Canada? Yeah. But uh, since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I will try to schedule a scan for a session on s uh, for Saturday. I'll get back to you when it's confirmed. Your sincerely, David Munchie. Happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest test shows your brain is slowly recovering. So he did have brain damage, or something along those lines. Was it really brain damage, or? Yeah, that was bleeding. So you had internal hemorrhage, perhaps for the hematoma. We'll continue, blah, 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 blah. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Uh, Jesse, since you forgot, oh, remind me. I forgot me. to hit send. I'm not coming in to work. Okay, so here's a weak excuse for an email. There we go. Better late than never. Yep. Please unpack the boxes behind the counter and blah blah blah. Okay. So we got a, a more clear idea about what what's going on. How do I close this thing? How do I how do I exit our uh, right mouse button? Or right mouse button, yes. What's a beautiful Summer's day? coming. Hope it's a good one. Yes. Although it's winter now. For us. Oh, that's pretty satisfying. Yeah. 
What a lovely view of the apartment next door. Uh, oh well. So we're still trying to find the damn stuff. He wouldn't keep it in his socks drawer or his boyfriend's drawer, his tidy whitey drawer. He would keep it in. He would may have keep it in his bedside cabinet, but I don't see it. I mean, what's that? Some kind of pen knife. Don't need that. And this. Oh, it's uh, yeah, Robin McConnell hooked. Yes. Suspenseful, mystical, absolutely terrifying. Hooked will pull you in. <laughs> What's this? I'm still looking for that damn stuff, so I don't want to miss anything. It's a lighter? Yes. Can we not take that? That would be very useful. Yeah, we can pick that up at least. Can't open these? Ah. How about some shoes and some socks and some clothes? Are we already dressed? I don't know. What's this? Massive recoil. <laughs> Instead of total recoil. Ah, the bathroom. Maybe it's in the bathroom. Medicine cabinet, maybe. There it is. Ahaha! It was actually in a sensible place. Caution, Gadutan. 755 was a very good year. Well, down the hatch. We can get it open. There we go. Take the good old swallow of that. It's like milk, but the taste. It's like sucking on a penny. Sounds delightful. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Huh? Can't brush your teeth? Oh, he's gonna have fuzzy teeth all day. Can't even brush his teeth. Gonna smash the glass. Wow. Indestructible glasses, everyone. What's this? What? What is this? Some dawn. Dawn, dawn. So, we can't brush our teeth. Screwed. Okay, at least we're taking the stuff. I presume... Uh, can we take a shower? I don't want to keep the doctor waiting. I'll shower when I get back. Fair enough. So I guess we're fully dressed and ready to go. Hey, hey, look at this guy. Nice. Anything else? Any clues? Any clues? Some... Uh-huh. Must be our friend. That, that might be us, actually. Yeah. Grimoire presents Robin McConnell. Ah, meeting book signing. So he's definitely a fan. Right, I think that's it for this place. So right, watching TV gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. Coming up, like, put the, put the massive recoil in. No, okay, let's get out of here. Yes. We're gonna leave the lights on. <laughs> I hope no one has OCD. <laughs> That's gonna piss you off. But so far, not so much on the horror front, I'm afraid. <laughs> well, can't expect. They're easing you in. Wanna, wanna, uh, a metro. Subway. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after this scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? I uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, you know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, Dying thing. <laughs> Dying thing? You're Dying the worst thing. support ever. 
What should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Oh, yeah. Buddy. This guy looks like he's got the jitters. He's got the DTs, mate. Need a bit of that. A bit more of that sweet nectar. That chick with the blonde hair looked like uh, someone we may know. Sitting. YouTube celebrity. Mm -hmm. Alright, this is just me. I wanted to get a close up look, but I couldn't. Anyway, looks like we've arrived. Hello? Damn, it's dark. Dr. Munchie? Where is everyone? Thought this place would be busy. Yeah. Look at this modern art crap. Absolutely rubbish. That's, that's some light in here, yes. Good old Canadian flag, eh? Yeah. Yes. So are we in, are we in Ontario, I guess? I don't know. Somewhere, we're in Canada anyway. Nice. The big city. Terrible city graphics. Oh well. We're not here for that. Oh, we can actually get behind the reception desk and mess around. Alright, let's, let's pull up a chair, pull up a chair. Woo, woo. Okay. Now I can't sit down. Let me sit down. There we go. Ah. Let's uh, check their emails. Paul, where are you? You've only got a few hours. I got hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. Get your stuff ready. Talk to Pace about using the lab. Blah, blah, blah. Book scanner. That's a lot. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It sounds very suspicious or very slapdash. It would allow us to use their computer to run models. Mm. And also, if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow, but we could do a scan of each other. <laughs> then the equipment. That's cute. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. We're locked out. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change. So I, I called security and talked to Professor Wee. Or oh, why? Wee? I don't know. Wee. Professor Wee, yeah. To have him vouch for our project and finally got a hold of uh, some honcho over it. PACE's legal department, and that could regrant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code and the mails and text, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. So we'll look for the note, maybe. Where's the note? Look for a note. No, I can't move. Get out of the way, chair. He'll leave us a note. Perhaps. No, no note around here. Maybe in the drawer. Hmm. Pencils, good. Is this a pencil case? Yeah, it is a pencil case. What we got? Page 56. Moment of tweak for right length. Okay. Hmm. Improved reverse projector technique. <laughs> well, that's, that's not much good to us, is it? As far as I'm aware. Let's look at this one. Look at the next one. Ah, USB. Can we plug it in? Oh. No. <laughs> Trial and error. Put your scalpel away. The brain can heal itself. Green is amazing, transformative quality, a plasticity that allows it to cons cons compensate, even heal itself. Okay, so it's just giving us a, like basic steps on how they're going to do this thing. Cool. Good to know. Um, what else we got? What's this? Stapler. Have you guys seen my stapler? 
All right. Without further ado, let's get a water. Yeah. I don't see the note they supposedly left. So, but we need it. We need a code. Maybe it was in that book. It's got to be here. Two five zero one, maybe. Maybe. Let's try. Oh yeah, we're in. We are in. Oh, we can run as well. Excellent. Okay, it's deserted again. Some weird computery stuff going on there. That's good. Hey, I want that. I want that. Coming up. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Mr. Munchie? Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. All right, let's get it. Let's get this show on the road. This is going to be a long episode, but I, I don't want to cut it before we see something cool. Yeah. So many, like, ended too soon and you don't see anything on the first episode. Let's see some cool stuff. All right, let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? That's right. right. Around Canada, David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version 6. Good. All files in one. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. Is that so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Perhaps not everything went according to plan. What happened? Yeah. Hello? Mr. Munchie? Did something go wrong? Uh, given that there is blood on the floor. This isn't funny. And everything is dark and... Scary and wreckage. I, I'm not supposed to put myself in. This is kind of stressing me out. Can we put the suit on? Okay. Hey! Anyone? get here that's a very good question it's not where we left off at all ah. we have some uh, Japanese symbols automated unlock from terminal service console okay Okay, so our first puzzle seems to be to like to get out of here. Service console. Where is the service console? I think it would be something like this. 
toolbox. Okay. So, if this is the service console. Omni tool chip installer, build and shape. Okay. Oh, okay. Some freakies going on. Electric hazard. I'd like to put on one of these suits. They're pretty cool. Are we underwater or something? Looking around for anything that might be useful. Hmm. I guess we'll just smash the old glass, shall we? Yeah. There we go. Oh, goodness. Oh, this is looking a lot more spooky, isn't it, guys? Well, it's a mystery what's gone down. And we are uh, find ourselves in a very, very creepy, either underground or underwater complex. Some sort of science place, perhaps. Yes. We'll see what transpires. Got to get my old crouch ready for some stealthy sneaking around preferably on broken glass anyway guys hope you enjoyed this first episode stay tuned for more and yeah happy halloween guys and uh, those who are watching after halloween i hope you enjoy the episode and let me know how it's going in the comments below till next time guys